Our read aloud for today is a book titled Going Places. It's written by Peter and Paul Reynolds. It's illustrated by Peter Reynolds, and it's published by a group called Athenium Books for Young Readers. This book is all about engineering, and I can't wait to talk about it when we're done. Let's dive in. Raphael had been waiting all year long for the Going Places contest, a chance to build a go-kart, race it, and win. When their teacher announced who would like the first kit, Raphael's hand shot up. The rest of the class watched enviously as Raphael walked back to his seat with a kit. Mrs. Chandra assured them, don't worry, you'll all be getting one. And they're all exactly alike. The kit came with a set of precise instructions that made Raphael happy. He was very good at following directions. Raphael hammered, glued, nailed, and assembled his kit. His go-kart looked just like the one in the directions. He was feeling quite proud. Raphael wondered how his classmate Maya was doing. She lived right next door. He peered over the fence. Hey Maya, you haven't even started? Maya didn't respond. She was so intent on watching the bird in front of her and quickly sketching it that she didn't even notice Raphael. Then she just put down her pencil and stared at the bird dreamingly. Raphael shrugged and let her be. The next morning, Raphael checked back in to see how Maya was doing. Wow, what is that? He asked. Maya grinned. You like it? Raphael responded slowly. Yeah, extremely cool. But uh, Maya, there's just one little problem. That's not a go-kart. Maya smiled. Who said it had to be a go-kart? Raphael was confused. The set of instructions inside the box were for a go-kart. But then again, they didn't say it had to be a go-kart. He looked again at Maya's contraption. After a moment, he grinned. I get it. Hey Maya, I really want to win this race. The instructions never said we couldn't team up either. And so they did, working late into the evening. They're synergizing, cause together is better. The next day, everyone gathered for the big race. Each go-kart was a perfect replica of the other. That means they all look exactly the same. except one. One of the kids laughed. <laughs> Looks like you had trouble with the going place instructions. You're going places all right. You're going to lose. Maya and Raphael didn't even have time to respond because the announcer's big boomy voice called out, Attention racers, start your engines. Four, three, two, one. A buzzer sounded and they're off.
Who do you think is gonna win? Let's see. While all the other go-karts disappeared in a cloud of dust, Maya just sat there in her motionless vehicle. Raphael shouted over the roar of engines and cheering crowds, Maya, what are we waiting for? No worries, Raphael, Maya answered. Flaps down, throttle up. And now they took off, off into the air. You can see all the other go-karts down below them. The other contestants looked up in amazement. Maya and Raphael hovered and then sped past them all. Before long, Maya and Raphael coasted across the finish line to the cheers of the waiting crowd. They kept rolling clear across the race grounds. Maya slammed the brakes, stopping just short of a lake at the edge of the school field. Raphael noticed a startled frog leap from a lily pad and dive into the water. He raised his eyebrows and looked at Maya. She smiled. Raphael, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Raphael just nodded. What do you think they're thinking? While it's important to follow the rules, it's also equally as important to be creative. Maya and Raphael, they followed some of the directions, but chose to be creative, take inspiration from a bird, synergize, and make a go-kart that flew. And that helped them win the race. In STEM, we, we encourage you to be creative, work together, and make awesome things. Thanks for reading with me.